Hello. <clears throat> Just sitting here under the dishes I need to clean. And the spices for the dinner I'm supposed to cook. But I've been working. Sometimes I guess that's how it goes. There's uh, Taki having a drink of water. He insists on only drinking out of a watering can. In this case, jamming his head into it. What's up there, buddy? Uh, he won't drink out of a bowl or a saucer when he's indoors. So, there he is. <laughs> I'm just sitting here on the kitchen floor next to the things I have yet to do. Just enjoying some cat time. Thinking, I was through a bad session and then moved my body and then probably back to work. Got an early start tomorrow, a long day tomorrow. So, there you have it. I was thinking about the, doing a little meditation where you. Tune into parts of the body, uh, but you don't physically activate them. Thank you, Taki. And so, for example, if I hadn't said that, and I had just instead said, uh, to feel your toes, you'd probably end up wiggling them, or uh, scrunching them, or stretching them. Not the same thing if I did your hands. Even unconsciously, you'd probably end up expressing through the hands. Uh, I learned this with the ears, because nobody's able to move their ears without their hands. And so, you're able to do the meditation by practicing with the ears, but some people, I guess, can do that, so move their ears without their hands. And uh, I figure we found ourselves by the water bottle. We'll do that here. So just come into a resting place. Uh, it's nice to do this in a resting position. See, part because you're not sending your energy out into your body to hold the structure. But I am trying to stay present and awake and aware. So if I wanted to start feeling my form, it'd probably start to crunch it and turn it, rotate it and flex it. But let's just bring our minds to the big toe on the left foot. For no particular reason. And see if we can feel it without moving it. I mean, I know it's there, my brain knows. But can my mind feel it? And if it can, can it feel it as readily as the brain knows that the toe is there? Can it feel it as readily as if you wiggled the toe to sort of confirm what the brain knows through a felt experience? See if we can bring our feeling into the right kneecap. Again, just kind of randomly pick a good place here. Do this with a lot of the body. So this is a sort of a feeling scan of the body without activating any part of the body. I'm doing the same thing. Can we feel that right kneecap? You probably would certainly prefer to waggle it or rub it or flex it to verify it, to locate it, 
to authenticate the brain's assertion that it's there. But instead, without energizing it, can I feel it there? Most people can do this with parts of their face and their palms. And next, the lower back, which I'm purposely saying sort of generically, so you can kind of pick an area or a spot. And in a state of restful body, see if feel the lower back without adjusting it in a physical way, moving it in a physical way, tightening or loosening or rolling or flexing. Just feel. Just feeling. I'm trying to access what I can feel, not what I know. Can we feel that? Next, the forehead. So I can come in a little bit closer for that. Can you feel the forehead without feeling with the forehead? Can my mind feel the forehead that my brain assures me is there without activating? So can I feel it rather than, rather than feel with it? Can I feel it? Or I can feel it. Okay. So, I can see sake drinks out of a heart.